They are the heroes on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19 in our city, leaving their families behind to take care of ours. Today, we're shining a spotlight on them and their lives. In our Frontline Diary segment today, we connect with Dr. Doreen Elshar, who provides care for high-risk pregnancies at the Ottawa Hospital. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Elshar. Good morning. How, how did caring for high-risk pregnancies change in the midst of the pandemic? Uh, so the reason that it became complicated when we started seeing that the pandemic was becoming quite global and uh, it would affect the care is that we are one of the essential service at the Ottawa Hospital that runs their clinic uh, from the hospital. Uh, therefore, we would still have quite a bit of flow through the um, hospital coming in to, for their ultrasounds and therefore clinical visits where early on uh, the hospital was trying to see how we can uh, lessen as much the traffic and the flow through the hospital. Did so we had to find strategies to keep providing the care and keeping our patients safe uh, from the get-go. Did you have a lot of soon-to-be moms coming in to the hospital with a lot of anxiety just simply being there in the middle of a pandemic? Uh, exactly especially early on because there was so much unknown and now they had to come into their appointments without their partners and i know that we've talked about that before um uh in some of these discussions but certainly there's a, already a lot of anxiety when you're seeing someone for a high risk pregnancy and now the fact that your support system is is uh is not able to accompany you it did add a lot of anxieties and questions and certainly for us as providers as well it, it made it made for some changes where you know, if we were providing some uh, difficult discussions or news around um, their pregnancy, now we, we had to have it with the patients and try to include the partners with either FaceTime or phone calls um, or calling them back after to review the process. So uh, it, it did add a lot of challenges in that sense. I bet. I also understand you're in the middle of doing some research on uh, how uh, whether a, a COVID positive mom could pass on the virus to her baby. What have you learned? Um, so that's correct. We have the uh, CIHR, which is the Canadian uh, Institute of Health Research funded work to look at whether moms in, uh, can pass uh, the virus on to babies when they're infected. Uh, so, so far we are collecting our cases in Ottawa as well as the 12 other sites in Ontario. Uh, and we, we haven't seen anything different from what is seen globally, which there doesn't seem to be a lot of cases that are passed on to babies. However, we're still in the process of doing all the final analysis. Uh, as you know, it's, uh, it does take a little bit of time to get all the answers. And so we're at the point where we haven't seen any major red flag from our cases that we would need to inform um, you know, either ministries or uh, other physicians about, but we certainly still have a few details to work through in our uh, testing of serologies, which is the antibody testing that we're doing and all the samples that we're processing have through we our lab. Have we seen some moms here who are pregnant with, with uh, the virus? Uh, yeah, so we have, um, just like we saw the numbers in the, you know, what we could now call the first wave in the, in the early spring, uh, there were some moms who were infected with the virus as well. All right, I wanna ask you about how this is affecting you personally. Uh, I know you're a mom and uh, so you've got uh, three children, I understand, and also a husband who's an essential worker. So you have a very busy life, not only with your career, but your family life. How has the pandemic affected you in all aspects of what you do? Uh, so that, yeah, we've been really busy. So the first thing that went out the window was sleep, I think. <laughs> but uh, That's just more related to some of my own responsibilities with uh, clinical work, research work and academic work. So certainly having three kids at home all of a sudden and a full time work from home husband was uh, was uh, an extra added uh, uh, stress. But we made the best of it. Um, my husband is very patient and certainly has been able to to initially work for three months in lockdown with three kids while I was at the hospital outside of the home. And uh, I, I call him a true patient saint. Mm -hmm. And then um, we uh, ended up having to really enlist having a family approach to things where our older kids were helping with the younger. And, uh, you know, we started doing different activities of baking and planting just to keep everyone busy and to, to you know, to start a new homeschooling process and, and support their needs. Yeah. And, uh, I think it's actually been, although it was stressful, it's also been a great time for our family to be able to spend so much time together. As a mother, uh, you're, as a mother yourself and an expert in, um, in caring for moms-to-be, just before we let you go, what's your message for pregnant moms out there who are 
dealing with a lot of anxiety, like you said, uh, with regards to the pandemic and then and also having a baby. How do you help them calm some of their fears right now? Yeah, so I think uh, the best message right now is uh, is really the same uh, I've mentioned before in other uh, kind of discussions is follow the precautions, the public health precautions do work. Uh, you know, if we can, you know, do the public health recommendations, frequent hand washing, then you should be able to stay safe during this time. And I keep reminding people that there's lots of good things to do uh, at home and outdoors that can keep you safe. And maybe this is the time to take advantage of those. Absolutely agree. Dr. Doreen Elshar, thank you so much for everything you're doing for our community right now and the care you are giving at the Ottawa Hospital. So much appreciated. Uh, you're welcome. It's our pleasure. Thank you for having us.